Hi, it's my home Sunday. My name's Paul and I'm tinkering with Home Assistant and I'm getting some energy measurements in the house. And you might remember a couple of weeks ago I played around with a mini graph card and well, I haven't given up with that in the dashboard and I'm gonna show you a quick tip later on. But to give you a little update of what's been going on during the week, um, I got the Shelly Plug S plugged in, two of them. Very easy to configure. I did have to update some firmware. I could do a video on that if you're interested. Thumbs up, comment below, let me know. Uh, and then got them hooked into Home Assistant and that was so easy. I don't even know what I did. But if you'd like to see that as well, thumbs up, comment below. Right, so heaters, they look like this. So it is cold. It's becoming colder by the day here in Finland. So it was time to put the heaters on. And I thought, okay, he doesn't need to go on. Uh, all right, I'll. So during the week, got two of these plugs straight out of the box, plugged them in, configured them up, hooked them into Home Assistant. And I thought, well, I'll create a couple of charts. Why not? So I've got some graphs there. And yeah, the thing is with the mini graph card, um, there was a little bug I didn't like. Let me, let me show you. It's this here. You can see one of the heaters. Now, there's, there's no measurement here. They weren't on. I didn't have the heaters turned on Monday or Tuesday, but it's showing here some kind of measurement. It's actually showing a zero value. But I have a tip and a hint for you. Here's a solution. See this one here? You don't see these extra bars. And up here for the washing machine. Ooh, you get an idea that the washing machine has only been run on Thursday and Saturday, which is correct for this week. How did I do it? Well, let me show you. I'll go in and edit the dashboard, go down to this card, edit, and here it is, a color threshold. I'm simply saying, if you have a value of zero, make it white instead of blue or something else. So of course you could put another color if you want to indicate there was nothing on that particular day. But if I just wanna hide it, there it is. And then anything above 0.1 is gonna show up as orange. There it is. So if I just cut this same bit of logic out here, cut that, let's change this one. I'm going to add that in and it's fixed. So now when I mouse over the ones that have some reading, I get to see how many kilowatts they used on that particular day. There you go. There's a quick tip for you for the mini graph card. Now what I'm planning on doing is looking at temperature sensors inside the room, because these are very, very simple heaters, and trying to think about turning them on and off. So during the middle of the night, they don't need to be pumping out lots of heat. We can bring the temperature down. And then of course, during the day, you know, you wanna hold it within a certain range when people are home. So I'm gonna use Home Assistant to look at automating those old style dumb heaters using the Shelly Plug S and Home Assistant and temperature sensors. Now these are Philips Hue uh, motion centers, sensors actually, but they, but they have a temperature sensor in them. Now I've been, here is measurements since uh, August from two sensors that I've had in the room. You can see they're in different parts of the room, but the readings are much the same. You can see it hovers around an average of 16 degrees. Um, you could say that our house is rather cold all the time, but those sensors haven't actually been in the best position. I just kind of had them spare for a bit, so I just placed them around the house. But they're going to be in a more uh, realistic position, and I'm gonna look at taking measurements from those and think about having the heaters turn on and off using the Shelly smart plug. So if you're interested on in seeing how I do that and use Home Assistant, create an automation to handle it, well then hit subscribe and you'll see next week when I put up another video and the week after that and so on and so forth. I'll see you then. Bye.